Good morning, everybody in Cubby TV land. It is so good to see you this morning. Let's stand for our pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And for our white egg chant. <laughs> this is the day. Hey, we shall the day. Hey, we have the knowledge. Hey, to go to college. Hey, but don't stop there. Hey, go anywhere. Hey, this is the way. Hey, we start the day. Hey. Thank you so much. Everybody have a seat. These are our pre-K friends from Miss Bunch and Miss Bass's class. And you never know what four-year-olds are going to do. They make us smile every day. I have a few words of wisdom for you this morning. Attention, attention. There are opportunities on the loose. They're running amok. There are opportunities all over this building, in the classroom, in the halls. They're even in the cafeteria. So listen up. Some opportunities are really difficult to recognize. They're operating undercover, disguised as problems and difficulties and breakdowns. But don't be fooled. Behind this disguise, if you look very carefully, it's always an opportunity. Maybe it's a chance to show kindness. Maybe it's a chance to ask for help. Today, remember this. Every problem is an opportunity in disguise. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Evans reminding you of our motto. Say it with me. I must say, I'm a peacemaker and I'm a lover. All right, come on up, Miss Bravel. She's going to share a book with us this morning. And she's getting the camera straight. She's got like double, triple duty this morning. What are we going to hear about today? Today, I have a book called the odd egg. Now, what kind of animals lay eggs? Birds. Birds. Cirillo said birds. And ducks. Right. And ducks. And ducks are birds. Aren't they? <laughs> well, on the front of this book, there's a duck, and he has a big egg, and it has green polka dots on it. Mm. But this book has a surprise. I love books with surprises at the end. You know, I said it's called the odd egg. It says here, all the birds had laid an egg except for duck. He didn't have one yet. Well, I guess I should say she, because she birds are the ones legs. Then duck found an egg. He thought it was the most beautiful egg in the world. So he didn't lay it, found it. Mm. All the other birds made fun of that egg though, because it's a really big egg and it has green polka dots and it did not look like all of their eggs. Well then one day, this is cool because look at the way the author has done it or the illustrator's done this book. One day, all the other eggs started to crack and there's little pages. Can you see that little page in this book? It's got a little page and a little page and the pages start to get bigger and bigger and you get to see what cracks and happens in each of those eggs and then the only egg left is the big odd mm. egg. But I'm not going to show you what happens. If you want to find out what hatches out of that egg, you're going to have to check this book out and read it. It's called The Odd Egg by Emily Gravitt. And if you like this book, we have some other books by Emily Gravitt that you might like. I wonder what's going to come out of that egg. Miss Gravel, you may uh, be able to read these books and you might know what's going to happen. You think it's a bird? A You're going to have to read it and find out one day. You know, while I've been gone, I read two books and one I thought I knew how the ending was going to be and the author tricked me and then I was like oh I should have seen that <clears throat> the other one I've got a couple of chapters left but it's a historical novel so I already know what's going to happen <laughs> but I do like reading it okay here we go with some cubby paws and we pulled quite a few so uh, Miss Carter be ready going to have a little bit of a long line this morning all right um, Anato, is that how you say it? Anato. Anato Pacheco on 139, Christopher Moore on 139, Charlotte on 138, 
Crystal Diaz on 138, uh, Sophia on 136, Nathan Tanner on 136, Zayana James on 135, uh, Jemiah Bond on 115, Nakia Walton on 114, Graham Munns on 114, Desire Copeland 126, Josiah Soto on 134, Magna Luna on 116, Jazia Privet on 117, Nasha Jones on 117. We're getting a little clap here. They're not sure what to do there. Mariah Ely 129, Lane Goodwin 129, Caden on 131, and Edwin Vasquez on 131. Now let's see what's happening in our classrooms. Wade Jackson, Miss Fields class for sharing. Kashan Bunch, Miss Copeland's class brought food in for the lock up hunger. Emmanuel Layton on whisper, whisper reading. Uh, Mark Artis, Miss Perry's class, uh, coming in quietly and getting started. Trishelle Fields, Miss Richardson's class, walking down the hall quietly. Julie Morris, Miss Fields' class, being a learner. Sean Rollins, Miss Copeland's class, working hard during writing. Ethan Johnson, Miss Ward's class, bringing in canned goods. Micah Felton, Miss Powell's class, reading on the weekend. Brandon Potts, Miss Atkinson's class, reading over break. Shania Privet, Miss Dale's class, being a good friend. Mariah, Miss Privet's class, knowing sight words. And Ethan Robertson, um, Miss Barger's class, letting uh, a teacher pass, I guess, going down the hall there. All right, you're doing great. Miss uh, Pre K class, Miss Bunch's class, let's all stand and sing. Go be awesome. <coughs> Over here, you sing it again. Let's go to the next space. Thank you, friends. I'll see you down the hall and in your classrooms.